Hi YouTube, welcome to the second episode of the Sims 4 Joy of Life Challenge. We are back in today's episode and I'm really, really excited. Thank you guys so much for all the love that you showed on the first episode. I uploaded it a few hours before this stream. So I'm really, really glad you guys are enjoying this series so far. Uh, you might also see some cute little messages from our friends over on Twitch, which is actually where I stream this series live. So if you guys wanna come and join me, the link is in the description to my Twitch channel. You can also go ahead and follow me over there and you'll get notified every single time I go live, which means you'll never miss any episodes of this series as well. Or you can go ahead and watch it on this channel where I upload all of these videos edited as well. If you guys enjoyed this video, remember to go ahead and leave a like and subscribe to this channel if you are new. That way you get notified every single time I upload, which means you'll never miss any of the videos on this channel. I've also got another YouTube channel, which I've linked down below. It's called Mommy Lollipop, which is where all my Twitch streams uh, go. The VODs, they're unedited, so you can always go ahead and check those out as well. Okay, right, guys, I am back today with Nevo Brian. We've got quite a lot of plans for today's uh, episode, so I'm very, very excited. First thing being Valentine's Day. Officially in The Sims, it is Valentine's Day on Wednesday. Obviously, when she wakes up, it's currently like Wednesday at three in the morning. So um, we're going to have her go out on her first blind date today. I'm really, really excited. But before that, we are going to make some Love Day themed uh, baked goods. We're going to go ahead and go sell those, um, you know, in Tortosa in the town. And then for the evening... We're gonna go out for dinner um, on a blind date. Really hoping that the guy she takes out on a blind date is gonna be nice um, because otherwise that's just gonna ruin her Valentine's Day, isn't it? <laughs> so I really hope that whoever she has this blind date with is a nice guy. Um, so yeah, pray. <laughs> for some reason, Neve really just has a thing for these married men. I don't know if it's just because she likes a committed man. You know, she likes to know that they're committed to her. I'm really not sure, but it's it's not good. Are we adding in Simmies from the gallery for dates? Yes, I added in so many new Sims. You guys are going to be really excited to see them. Hopefully, they turn up on the blind date. The only issue with us doing blind dates, right, is that um, there is the possibility that she doesn't actually go out on a blind date with them because, you know, it might end up just giving her, like, base game Maxis Match Sims. So pray and hope that they use my custom Sims. Okay, I'm gonna turn on the lights. I'm having her make some um, scrambled egg for uh, for breakfast because, you know, even though she's making baked goods for everybody else, she also needs to make sure she feeds herself. So I'll have her make like a, um, oh, it's not scrambled egg, sorry, it's eggs and toast. I'll have her make a party serving and then we can just put it away in the fridge so that she's got loads. She needs to make a baked good for her, for a date, yes. So we did wanna do a thing where every single blind date she goes out on, she makes them um like a baked good you know and gives it to them because i feel like it's very important if they give her a good reaction or not if we give it to a guy who gives us a bad reaction it basically is like a like it's an answer for us you know like we're not interested because if you can't like, respect m my effort of making you a damn baked good then i'm not interested okay that's that's the way i'm going with them why are you putting that there and not cleaning up like why would you do that to me go go do that okay Right, let's make our first um, baked good. So I need something. Ooh, bunny day chocolate hamper. No, that's Easter. Have I got anything love day themed? Um, oh my God, love heart shortbread. <gasps> that is so cute. Okay, I'm making this. We need that man to be diabetic at the end of the marriage. <laughs> that's how you know it was true love, actually. <laughs> Okay, right, she's, she's working on the dough. I thought she was making a cake. Oh no, she's making shortbread cookies. My bad, my bad. Okay, let's get these shortbread cookies done. <gasps> oh my God, guys. How freaking cute is this? That is, a, okay, we are selling that today. I'm sorry, I'm not giving this to my date for free because that is too damn cute. That is literally amazing. Okay, I'm gonna make some more desserts. Um maybe strawberry sandwich i think we should do everything pink considering it's valentine's day you know i think it's very fitting okay what do these look like oh my god guys look at these strawberry sandwiches you've got to be kidding me these are so cute i literally love these so much yeah we're selling those too all right let's do some cupcakes we've got to have like pink cupcakes okay i'm gonna do classic vanilla and then hopefully we can decorate them I'll do the classic vanilla ones for now. Oh my god, cooking skill level five. She is actually such a natural at this though. She really is. 
She is blessed by Gordon Ramsay. Everything she touches turns into cuteness. She's just, she's so good already. Considering she had no baking or cooking skill when we started this, it's just crazy. Um, can I decorate these? No, I don't think so. I'm gonna check any pastries though. Um, ooh. I'm gonna do plain muffins and hopefully I can decorate them. Maybe we can give those plain cupcakes to the day. <laughs> they're still not that bad to be fair. I don't think they're terrible. They're just nowhere near as cute as these. I'm selling these. I need the money, okay? So unfortunately, <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to have her get um, booked into the baker's career today as well. I'm going to have her sign up. Can she decorate these? Oh, yes. Okay, let me put them over here and then decorate. Hopefully they come out cute. Oh, look at her putting the little frosting on. It's so cute. I love this. Maybe a wedding cake. Maybe someone's getting married. Good point, actually. We should probably get a wedding cake too. Um, Yeah, you know what? Let's do it. How do we, how do you make a wedding cake? Oh, here we go. Make wedding cake. We don't have any pink ones, unfortunately. She's, she's not quite good enough yet, but it's fine. The cupcake one will do. I'm sure someone needs a wedding cake, surely. Ooh, this cake's gonna come out so good. I can already tell. We do need to get selling soon though, because I want this blind date to happen sometime soon. <gasps> Look at that cake. She really is just a natural baker. Oh, she's so cool. I love her. <laughs> Oh, oh my God, that looks so good. Neve, oh my God. Come on, that is the cutest thing ever. Someone is definitely gonna pay good money for that. I can already feel it. That's gonna be so good. We are gonna go out and um, sell all of our baked goods today. Although I need to keep one of them. I'm thinking one of these I give to our date. I'm just gonna give them one cupcake because they don't need like a whole platter of cupcakes. <laughs> Okay, listen, guys, they don't need the whole platter. So I'm going to have a grab a cupcake. Okay, and then they get to keep one and I'll keep the rest. Okay, because <laughs> I need I need money. Okay, I need to sell things. Okay, right. Go take a cupcake. Don't eat it. Don't you dare eat it. I swear to God, put that damn cupcake down. This is for your date. You're going to go give it to your date tonight. Is it the door? Oh, it's Lucia. <laughs> I love it how she was like, oh, do you want to come over? And I was like, no, I'm busy. And then she comes over. <laughs> She doesn't quite get what I'm talking about. Okay. Um, we'll just come over to visit. Now I kind of feel bad. Okay, I'll just go out there and say hello. I'm gonna ask her how she is. Um ask her if she's okay. Um, and then we'll express her admiration for coming over and visiting us. But we are actually gonna have to go. So now that we've befriended her, how are we looking on the friendship scale? She's a friend, not good friend, just friend. But, oh, she thinks she's sophisticated and she also got friendly advice from her. She oh, that's so cute. <laughs> okay, anyways, uh, Lucia, I've really got to go. I've got to go work today. So thank you so much for coming around. Um, happy Valentine's Day, but I've really, really got to go. So thank you so much. Oh. I'll see you later. I love how she was just like, shoot. <laughs> Move. <laughs> Okay, right guys, we are gonna go and uh, sell our baked goods today. So let me just put them all in our inventory. We are gonna head into town and go and get these things sold. I swear to God, if they go off, I'm gonna lose my mind. I really will. Ooh, there's actually a cafe. You know what? Maybe we, maybe we go here and we set up outside of the cafe and then we sell outside there. That might be good. Oh, this is perfect for where she's gonna sell her goods. Hopefully the uh, the cafe doesn't mind us like literally just selling right outside. <laughs> Anyways, I'm just going to set up right here. Thanks guys so much. Um, it is the wrong way around. Can I turn it around? Yeah, I can. Okay, there we go. <laughs> I'm just going to sit out here. Don't you guys worry about <laughs> I swear to God, someone is definitely going to kick us out. Okay, I'll have a go get this uh, stocked up. And then, oh, look at this. Tend the table. And then we're going to start a yard sale. We're going to leave the prices on 100 because she's just getting started right now. And I don't think she's like, I don't know. They look great and everything, but she's not like deserving of it yet, if that makes sense. Ooh, hello. Who are you? Arturo. Arturo. What a distinguished, fine mustache you have uh arturo and for a dis fine distinguished man like yourself oh, yes. i think you would love some of these baked goods don't you agree i'm sure you would love something take home to the wife maybe 
Absolutely. Are you married? Because it just so happens that every guy that she likes is married. <laughs> I'm gonna, I, uh, can I ask him if he's married? Ask if single. You know, maybe take home to the wife. Oh, he's single, okay. Is he okay? You're, feel, you're looking a little tense. I think you need a cupcake. Is anyone gonna buy anything or is everyone just gonna stand outside here? Hi, Hillary, I met you yesterday. Would you be interested in a cupcake maybe? It's all gonna go off. Come on, I've got a blind date to go on tonight. Please, someone buy something. Is anyone gonna buy anything? Oh, 16 simoleons for the cupcakes. Okay, the cupcakes were, you know, they, were, they weren't they were great. I'm not gonna lie. They were probably the worst out of all of them. Oh, hi, Bianca, come on. Look, I've got loads of really amazing baked goods. Guys, I really don't think it was the power move to like sell our baked goods outside of a uh, cafe where they are also selling baked goods. No one's buying anything. We might need, we might need to move, guys. Put the table inside the cafe without a move. No one's buying anything. And these guys have just been staring for hours. Come on, someone. Surely someone wants to buy something. Come on. Oh, 270! Oh, 160! Oh my god, did someone buy all oh, the wedding cake? Oh my goodness! You, uh, you lovely lady. You lovely lady. Oh my god, only two more things left to go, guys. Come on, here we go. I'm hungry. What should I eat? Our baked good is what she, you should be eating. <laughs> Works a little bit slow today, guys. Oh, is that woman back? Oh no, she's new. She's new. Hi. How about you buy these amazing love heart shortbreads? One of a kind, by the way. All the, all the um, muffins, that's cool too. I mean, these are better. <laughs> it's 8 p.m. and we haven't even gone on the, please, please, please. I need to, I've got a blind date book for tonight, okay? And I just, I really need you to, to buy something. Please, buy these, buy these. Come on, anyone. Oh, <gasps> he bought them. 86 simoleons. Guys, it's done. We've made our money. Here we go. Okay, we're leaving. Let's go, we're packing up, guys. I think we should quickly stop off and just buy her a new dress really quick. Okay, so this is the, um, this is the lounge, I think. But I'm not gonna be staying here. I'm just going to head into town and we're gonna stop off at the dress shop over here. Oh, <gasps> no! Guys, the dress shop's closed. Okay, well, we're just gonna have to choose out of the options that we've got. We've got the option of, she's got this dress. This is her hot weather wear dress though. She might get a bit cold in it. Do we go for the lavender one? Yeah, okay, maybe we go for this one then. I mean, I know it's not pink, but it's the best we're gonna be able to do considering the dress shop closed. <laughs> it is a little too formal, maybe. Okay, hold on, let me let me see the other dress. This is the This is the other little dress she's got. Okay, this is a little bit more casual. Maybe this is better. Yeah, okay, let's go with this one. Right, so we're going out on a blind date. I don't really know how to do this. I think it's through the Meet and Mingle app. Auto match, fully blind date, auto match, semi blind date. What's different? So semi, I still think you get to pick the person. I'll, look, I'll try semi and we'll see what it says. It shouldn't like go straight through. <laughs> okay, um, Zaddy. <laughs> yes, definitely, we'll go out on a date. Right, Neve is arranging to meet with Julian. His name is Julian, guys. Let's go out for dinner. Um, let's go to this little restaurant that I placed down here. Meet and mingle dates are rather informal, so you can take the date where you want to go. Get to know each other without jumping to romance. Jump to romance without getting to know each other or anything in between. Be your best self and good luck. Right. Uh, oh no, I forgot his cupcake. Maybe I'll have to take him back to the house. <laughs> Right, I'm gonna have her go and request a table. Let's go and get seated for some dinner. Here we go. I think he should be wearing something a little bit nicer. Me too. Should we get him dressed? This is his party well. It looks like he's generally more of like a casual dresser, to be honest. His name J Julian Sadler. Here we go. I think this is our table. Here's your table. Enjoy your meal. Oh, we'll be right back here. Oh, that's just great, isn't it? Um. Okay, well, we should probably introduce ourselves a little bit to him because we haven't actually said hello yet. Hi, Julian. Um, it's nice to meet you. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> okay, go and give him a friendly introduction. Please be a good first impression. Hi. Ah, <gasps> okay. 
She thinks he is adventurous. He seems to have lived so much in a city one day, in another the next, from job to job, from love affair to yet another. That doesn't sound great. Um, it makes them a little fascinating. <laughs> or it makes them seem like a, like a, you know. Oh, okay. She does think he's basic looking. Okay, well, that's not great. It's not the best start, you know? That's okay, though. It's her first blind date, you know? She's just not, she's not sure yet. That's fine, I think. She prefers the married. She actually might, you know. She actually might prefer the married. I'm going to ask him if he's got a job. Uh, he's unemployed. Okay. Well, maybe because he travels quite a lot, as she said it. Ask him about his day. So, how's your day been? What have you been up to? Anything interesting? You know what? I'm going to... I'm going to ask him about his life milestone and his, milestones and his memories. So, what have you done in your life so far, you know? Um, I prefer to think that my past begins today. That I'm a brand new sim with no baggage. Nothing but possibilities. What are you looking for in a relationship, I guess? Um, we don't like each other enough for me to answer that. Oh, okay. That's a bit awkward. <laughs> okay, well, maybe we should get to know each other a little bit more then. <laughs> Is she on her phone? Is she really not enjoying it this much? <laughs> Try and get to know him. Come on. It's going so badly. Okay, she learned that he's adventurous, which we we already suspected anyways from his... Uh, from what he said. Maybe, maybe tell him a funny story. It's going bad so fast. I mean, come on, it's a blind date. What do we really oh, expect, though? Does he find her attractive? I can't even find out because the guy won't even, like, let me talk to him. Maybe control him? Yeah, good point, actually. Let's try. Let's see what he thinks of her. He's excited. Okay. Um, What does he think of Neve? <laughs> That's why this was going really badly. <laughs> He is not interested. <laughs> That's why when she was like, so what are you looking for in a relationship? He was like, we're not close enough to, for me to tell you. <laughs> because he is like way not interested. He is no. Okay, we need to wrap this up quite quickly, guys. Uh, we need to. Yeah, it's a dine and dash situation, I think. I'm not even going to have them flirt. I'm also uh, glad she forgot the cupcake. Annoying. He didn't deserve it. <laughs> she hasn't completed any of her goals, though. Should I have her just try being romantic with him? I'm just going to have her try just one little flirt and we'll see how he takes it. Since it is Valentine's Day. It's... Come on. He liked it. What is this? Uh <laughs> huh. Oh, he's feeling very flirty now. Well, he said he wasn't interested in her, though. He's just not a good match. But is he good in bed? See, this is the question. What if there is... But he finds her really unattractive. So, like, I don't get how that is going to work, though. It's some serious mixed signals right here, guys. He's flirting with us, I think. Oh, wait, what does she want to do? Give a massage to him? Does she like him more than she's letting on? Like, is it going up? She still thinks he's basic looking. Why is she still interested in, like, having a thing with him, though? Girl got her need, you know? <laughs> Neve got the impression that Julian finds her quite unattractive, making her feel a little discouraged. Okay, I think that is her answer. So I think she's going to be like, um, like, I really appreciate getting to know you. It was lovely to meet you. But I just, you know, I just don't think there's, I, I don't think there's anything here. Um... So, um, I'm just gonna go. <laughs> Thank you so much for the dinner. And, um, yeah, I'll see you never, Julian. Okay, goodbye. <laughs> the guy needs glasses, actually. How are you finding this girl unattractive? Like, look at her. She even looks so cute heading home, like, slightly drunk. Come on, she looks so cute right now. Maybe I should check her, um, I should check her, her dating profile and see what it says. Um... Okay, you know what? I'm just going to have a look and see. Okay, preview your profile. I want to see it. 
<laughs> okay, this is what it says about her. Nemo Brian, age young adult, education did not specify, career did not specify, personality, foodie, gentle, and cheerful. Her likes and dislikes, she likes jokes and she dislikes argumentative sims. She doesn't have family, but she would like to have children. She's never been in a long-term relationship. She likes animal fans, generous sims, and romantic sims. She also likes orange hair, large butts. <laughs> is it including this turn offs sensitive sims adventurous and bad bay vibes she doesn't like mustaches beards or ghosts <laughs> she's not into the mustache or beards well that guy was basically not interested anyways because i think he did have a beard as well um her relationship preference and goal is that she she wants a short fling or a forever love she's quite happy to go with the flow <laughs> so funny that is actually hilarious i literally love that i'm gonna have her go eat that guy's cupcake because <laughs> that guy did not even deserve it so i'm not letting it go to waste I'll, I'll mean it too the revenge cupcake is a symbol yeah if they're not worth it i'm not giving them in remember that job we talked about i got it good job oh actually oh she's a rice's assistant oh good job that's so good um we're gonna have to have her also get her job today i'm gonna come out here and then I'm going to have her sign up to officially be a baker. Um, and at least she'll get a little bit of extra money for it. Okay, right. I should be able to go on her phone and now get her a job. There we go. So I want her to become a baker. So um, she starts... So bakers are food workers who create breads and other goods, such as cookies, cakes, pies, and pastries. You'll be responsible for preparing and measuring ingredients, properly cooking or baking foods, and decorating sweet baked goods. Join now if you have a passion for baking. She starts off as a bakery advertiser. She makes 10 simoleons an hour, and she works from 8 until 4. Um, I don't know if it's a work-from-home job. I think it might be. Should she accept the assignment? Yes. She needs to volunteer at a bake sale. Please volunteer to help the bake sale. They need as much help as they can. Oh. Record videos on baking. Reach level two in charisma. Oh God, guys, this is gonna be, this is gonna be rough. <laughs> All that for 10 small millions an hour, are you kidding? <laughs> yeah, you gotta be kidding me. Okay, right, we're gonna come in and come and grab some leftovers from yesterday. Let's do the fruit salad. Okay, so today I think she needs to do this work from home assignment. Um, volunteer at a bake sale. Well, maybe we should make some stuff first and then bring some things to sell at the bake sale. Like, I feel like that would be good. Um, let's do orange fruit roll. This sounds pretty good. All right, let's get some baked goods prepared and then we should be able to make a bit of money. Ooh, guys, look at this orange fruit roll that she's made. Come on, this is surely it's going to sell for a good amount of money. Come on, that looks so good. Okay, um, next up, let's do a pastry. Let's do uh, some glazed donuts. Oh, Neve is squeamish at the moment and doesn't appear to have the stomach for gross things or creepy crawlers. <laughs> Yes, most definitely. I think it's because the house is disgusting. And I think she's telling me in a really weird way that I need to clean the house up. <laughs> I think that's what she's telling me. She's saying, please get me out of this hellhole because what, like, what is this? How am I supposed to work under these conditions? And now she's going to go, yeah, okay, right. <sighs> Cook cupcakes. Oh, <gasps> strawberry fizzy cupcakes. The butter scotchman cup. Oh, that looks so good. Let's do those. <gasps> Dude, like, what? I'm so confused. <laughs> Hi, Neve. It's me, Julian, the guy you went out with on a date last night. Do you want to go out on a date to the nightclub? Is he kidding? Like, we just got the impression on the date last night that he wasn't interested. I can't go on a date at four. Maybe later. I'll say no now and then maybe later. Do I give him a chance? She still thinks he's basic looking though. She doesn't really like him still. I think maybe no. I mean, like, what's the point if she doesn't really like him? <laughs> he's basic. He's into the chase. Yeah, I you know what? That might actually be it because she wasn't interested and she cut it off. Now he's interested. I think that's it. Oh, what do these look like? Oh, those look so yummy. 
Okay, let's do let's do just these because we really don't have time to do any more. I'm gonna go take these with us, um, and we're gonna go do a bake sale, um, and then I think we will decide where to go from there. Um, who is she coming to say hello to? Oh, okay, chat. Hear me out. Hear me out. He's. Is she? Why is she clapping like that, though? Why is she clapping like that, though? He is pretty good looking. How does she think these guys are basic looking? They have amazing compatibility with each other. How does she think he's basic? I, I'm having a look. No, this is it. I need to know what she actually finds attractive. Tell me now. What is she like? Because I don't get it. Right. She likes masculine appearances. Gray, dirty blonde, orange, and brown hair. Is it because he's got black hair? Really? That's why you're not interested? Because he's got black hair and not ginger hair or brown hair? Like, how sure are you on this, though? <laughs> she likes short and long hair. She likes straight and wavy hair. She likes cleanly shaven. And she dislikes beard and moustaches. Yeah, we know that. She told us. Oh, I bet you that's why she doesn't like him. Because he's got a beard. I mean, what if... He could shave the beard, babes. Don't be put off just by the beard. Oh, Mateo and Lucy are having issues. But they're trying to work things out. Drama? Hello. Not my bestie. Oh my god, they've actually already got a selling table out here. That's kind of perfect. Well, I'll put mine out here then, next to him. Right, let's do some um, let's do some selling out here. I'm going to go put these in here. And then we are going to go stock the table up. Let's go get these things sold. Turn the table. And this time, I am going to mark the prices up by 200%. Since, you know, she's got a little bit better quality of food now. I know they're still excellent quality, but look, they look they look even better. So come on. She's she's like more well established in the neighborhood now. Hopefully some of these guys wanna buy something. Someone make her an unshaved Ed Sheeran. It's gonna it's gonna really get to her, I think. The unshaved um or the shaved Ed Sheeran. 180 simoleons. Oh my god. This is so good. I'm not even gonna lie. No? Are you not interested? Is this guy drunk? Come on, surely he wants to drunk buy some butterscotchman cupcakes. Oh, hi. It's nice to meet you. Uh, Belinda Silver Sweater. Would you like a cupcake? Uh, they're freshly baked this morning. They're pretty fresh still. Is anyone going to buy these? 51 smolians. Is that all we get? I mean, at least that one's a little bit more reasonable, I guess. It's literally half nine. Surely somebody wants these cupcakes. Hi. Oh my god, watch her be interested in this guy. Actually, no, he has a beard and no hair. So I don't think she'll be interested. <laughs> Would you like these cupcakes? Uh, they're fresh this morning. Don't engage too much in conversation, Neve. You need to give him a chance to buy it. No, stop, stop. Let him have a chance to actually buy them. Maybe I should sell the cupcakes separately. Um, Would you like these cupcakes? <laughs> oh, well, he bought the cupcakes, so I'm happy then. <laughs> Here we go. Let's put this away. Let's go home. Well, I did really want to go on a blind date tonight, but we don't actually have enough time because we spent the entire night trying to get our baked goods sold, which is fine. But I'm going to come to the wishing well and I'm going to make a wish. Romance? Okay, let's see. Let's see if the wishing well answers our, answers our callings. Let's see. Is it good? Oh, it's good! Nothing sets the tone for a night of romance like a little flirting. Well, what is Neve waiting for? Go paint the town red or pink as it were. <gasps> now I feel like I need to go out on a date though. Is it late to go out on a blind date though? It's so late. Maybe we go to a nightclub. Okay, I'm gonna do semi-blind. Let's do it. Okay, let's see who we get paired with. <laughs> okay, what do we think, guys? This guy's got brown hair. He's cleanly shaven and he's got short hair. Wavy. She likes that. Yeah, I think she might like this guy. I mean, obviously with a makeover, like, you know, we, we might just go into cast, give him a really quick little makeover. Just, you know, just a really quick little thing. All right, we're going to go to a nightclub, but we can't go to one in Tortosa. Is there a nightclub in Oasis Springs? <laughs> There's not. Um, I really like this nightclub, so I think we might go here. Okay, right. We just arrived to the nightclub. Right, I'm gonna have her get dressed. What do we go for, guys? 
What is the most nightclubbing outfit? Probably this one, right? It'll do. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Bubba. Hubba Bubba. <laughs> I'm gonna get this guy um, dressed in his party wear as well. Interesting. Okay, I don't mind it. You know what? He's not that bad. All right, let's go sit down and grab our drinks. Okay, he's coming to grab his drink. Right, I'm gonna say hello. Um, I'm gonna have her do a flirty introduction because she is flirty. She wished for romance in the in the the thing, so maybe there's more chance that they'll have a thing going on. Come on. Hi. <laughs> Are you saying hello? I can't tell. Has she said hello yet? Don't be weird about it. Just say hello. Okay, stop talking to them and talk to him. Oh, oh here we go. Here we go. Okay. Anything? There's no way. There is no way right now that she finds every single man basic looking. Something's wrong. Okay, I'm going to look through. Does she find anybody not basic looking? Okay, she thinks he's unattractive. Have you have you seen anyone above basic looking? Have you met anyone above basic? <laughs> Uh, there you go, Victor Feng. She thinks it's attractive. This guy, you know why? Because he's bloody married. That's why. She's just like not interested in anyone. I don't understand. <laughs> right, let's try dancing. Maybe dancing will like, I don't know. It will change up her mind a little bit. Okay, come and dance together down there. Oh, it says she's, she's flirty though. Is it from Dominic? Who are you flirty because of? I'm pretty sure Dominic is married. That's probably why she's interested then, isn't it? Her and this guy have got like no romance like going on at all. Look at it. It's nothing. Like, should, I feel like I should try and engage with him more, but there's, it's like, it's so bad, guys. I'm going to ask him about their chemistry together. What did he say? I haven't really thought about that stuff, to be honest. Well, that's, well, that's just, you need, you should pr probably have a think before you start going on blind dates with people, maybe. You ever thought about that? Right, okay, hold on. Actions, control sim. I want to know what he thinks of her. Oh, wow, he, he actually really likes her. He thinks they have amazing compatibility and that she's really attractive. I mean, I'm not really surprised, to be honest, but that's like, it doesn't help because she doesn't really like him. I mean, at least he's flirting with her and it's going well. Uh, Neve likes dancing. Yes, I think she does. Oh, wow. She actually does have romance with this guy. Okay. She likes him, like, or not likes him, but, you know, they do have romance with each other. So I'm okay with, like, exploring it. Is he leaving? Where's he going? He's going outside for a nap. What are you doing? Get inside. <laughs> I mean, at least she had a good time at the club tonight, though. It's, like, five o'clock in the morning. We should probably go head home. She really wants that thick gingerbread man. Why did you say it like that? Why thick a gingerbread man? Like she's a baker and I think calling him a gingerbread man is even funnier. <laughs> okay, my poor baby. Um, I'm gonna have her come take a quick shower, uh, grab some foodies, and then I'm just gonna have her go sleep because uh, she spent the entire night out at the club, so. <laughs> But I like this is difficult. You don't fall for the first person you meet. It's more realistic. No, no, I agree. I'm okay with her not finding the guys attractive. Um, but I'm just hoping that there's someone... <laughs> there's someone out there that she finds attractive. Like, please, let there be one guy that she actually likes. Because I'm telling you now, guys, this is, this is going to be painful otherwise. We're going to go out on so many blind dates. <laughs> I mean, I know it says that this generation goes out on a lot of blind dates, but I really wasn't expecting this many blind dates. You know what I mean? Like, does she still find the married guy attractive? Um, Lucia, uh, it's Lucia's husband, right? Mateo? No, she still thinks Mateo is basic looking. She thinks he's charming personality wise, but visually basic looking. He remarried? Wait. <gasps> no! Lucia! Oh my god, Lucia remarried! Oh my god! Lucia's got Dante, a little boy toy! Oh my god, Lucia! Upgrade or what though? <laughs> I can't believe that! 
Not my bestie Lucia actually remarrying in like the case of a few days. Queen energy, actually, right? <laughs> she was like, oh, you want to get remarried? I'll get married to somebody even younger then. <laughs> and the other neighbor, Hillary, was pregnant in the club. Yeah, but I think she is still married to, to um, Hector. Yeah, yeah, that must be his kid. Bring some cookies and ask her about the tea. Should I go visit her? Where does she live? Okay, I'll make her something and go visit her. Cook. Um, let's do... Let's do a dessert. Maybe custard pudding. I'll do a single serving of custard pudding. Right, uh, where does... Where does my bestie live? Is she... She's here. Oh yeah, here we go. So this is the guy she married, Dante. He does seem a, a little, um... Like a little, I don't know, boyish for her? Hi, Lucia. Um, oh, it's World Spirit Day today, apparently. Oh, sorry, World Sim Day. Hi, how are you? So you move then, like, um, who's this? Oh. Oh. Hello? Who is this? Is this his brother? Because like, can I have his brother? <laughs> oh, she doesn't like him. She thinks he's pretentious. Oh, okay, maybe not. Does she think he's attractive? Like, at all? Anything? She has nothing. Oh, he's married anyways. Okay, never mind. <laughs> You're all that and a super-sized bag of chips. You're destined for greatness. Alex, did you just call me fat? Like, was that a compliment? Did she think that was a compliment? Alex, what? Okay, well, I'm going to come in and introduce myself to Dante, which is my... Like my friend, my only friend's new husband. Um, I'm gonna go check him out, yeah, see what he's so like. Cool. Hi, Dante. Huh. Oh my God, does she just get romance with him? Okay, she thinks he's rather charming, but she does think he's basic looking. <laughs> Not a soul. Not a soul. I, I, I swear, I am gonna make her the perfect man. And if she is not happy with them, I will lose it. How is it that she just doesn't find anyone attractive? I don't get it. Right, I'm gonna go over to Lucia. I'm gonna give her the uh, the gift that we bought. Happy new marriage to Dante. He seemed really nice. Here we go. Hi, I got you a gift. It's a custard pudding. Did she like it? What do you mean? Lucia, no. Does she not like the custard pudding? Oh, Lucia feels wronged by Neve because I bought her a damn custard pudding. What do you mean she feels wronged? The fucking audacity of it. I slaved over that custard pudding. I was going to go and chill out in their, in, their, in their pool, but now I feel a little bit weird about it. Um, Is it weird now that she, maybe she just doesn't like custard pudding? Yeah, but why does she feel wronged by me though? You know what? I'm gonna go. I'm here now, okay? I made my way all across town. I'm at least gonna go and do some sunbathing, okay? Because I slaved over that damn custard pudding. That's it. And she got a tan. Oh my goodness! Oh my god! Oh, she looks so good. Look at her little bronziness. Beauty, Grace, look at her. She looks so good. I mean, I, I bet you these tan marks are going to be hilarious when she takes this off. I can't wait to see her with her tan marks. Neve is so tan. She's looking sun-kissed and fabulous. I just really want to see her tan marks. Oh, I can see them. <gasps> look, look at the tan marks. Oh, yeah, look, look, you can see them. You know, the flowers that are on the side of the thing. Look, she's got little flower marks on her side. <laughs> because of the swimsuit she was wearing. I should probably get her a bikini as well because obviously she lives in Tortosa. I imagine she'd probably like tan quite a lot. Well, when we continue to renovate in the next episode... Oh, actually, you just reminded me of something. The reason why I didn't want to renovate is because we still owe quite a lot of bills um, and I want to pay those off first. So I might actually just quickly go out and pay those off just so that we don't have to worry about them. Um, she has property taxes and bills, I think. Um... Show bills information. Oh, she gets two weeks until she owes the property taxes of 2.2K. We've got a little bit of time then. We've got a little bit. Right. Um, 
Guys, I am going to go ahead and end tonight's stream off here. So thank you guys very, very much for joining me. I'm also going to go ahead and end the YouTube video off here. So thank you guys so much for joining me today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, remember to go ahead and leave a like. Subscribe if you are new. Remember to go ahead and follow me on my Twitch down below where I stream this series live. If you want to come and join this series. And yeah, I will speak to you all in the next video. Bye guys.